<laughs> here we fucking go. So Manchester United might have signed Varane. And make no mistake about it, this is very big. Obviously, I have my allegiances to Liverpool, okay? I'm a Liverpool supporter, so let's break that fourth wall. But this is a huge signing, not just for Manchester United, but for the Premier League. But in the context of Manchester United, this is an absolutely huge signing because now this means that they have a centre-back partnership of Harry Maguire and Raphael Varane. Now they have two world-class signings. Obviously, they signed Jadon Sancho, and now they're signing Raphael Varane as well. Nothing's official, official yet. Fabrizio Romano's doing the whole here we go thing, and everyone's going going nuts and creaming over it on Twitter. The the fee is going to be in the region of about 40 million, I reckon. By the time they sort everything out, it's going to be 40 million. They've agreed personal terms. They're going to agree with Real Madrid because Real Madrid need the money, let's be honest. Both them and Barca are fucked at the moment. As much as I want to shit all over their hopes, this could be the signing that gets Manchester United back on track of actually winning things and winning trophies. I've got to be honest, you know, signing Sancho, signing Varane as well, they're on smoke in the window at the moment. All they really need is a central defensive midfielder who can actually defend centrally. Cheers, Jeff. And then they're back on track. They, you know, they can't be stuck with Matomini and Fred all the time because, let's face it, that's not a Manchester United midfield. I mean, to be fair, they've already spent 120 million though, and it just depends how much budget Manchester United have. Obviously, we know that they're one of the most commercially valuable assets in terms of world football. They just are. They make the most money just globally. They are a huge, huge business. They're a huge commodity. And out of all the Premier League clubs, I think it's safe to say that they make the most money. But do they have a budget, you know, that, that goes further, much further than 120 million? Because if they have like a 200 million budget, that means they go out and still spend 80 million on a central defence midfielder. They're already looking like contenders now. You know, we have to seriously consider it with these two signings. They're not signings where there's hope for potential to be realised. Obviously, Jane and Sancho is still young, but he's quality already. His numbers are absolutely insane already. And then Rafael Varane, a very, very established defender. We all know this. Very, very accomplished. I just... Oh. I can't watch them win shit again. But we have to keep a level head because as much as people can go off and, and gas this, there is there is, there is is another side to it. Yes, those players are quality. Yes, Sancho and Varane are absolutely world class. But there's that question again. There's that slight doubt because we've only ever really seen them play abroad. Obviously, Sancho was at City, but we've never seen him play in the Prem. You know, the same with Varane. He's always been in La Liga. We've seen Manchester United sign players who've been quality in other leagues before. Four. Angel Di Maria, Ramadal Falcao, those are just the name two off the top of my head who play, who predominantly played in foreign leagues, went to Manchester United and didn't really do anything. It just depends on if Sancho can stay balling and if Ferran can still boss it at the back. And then, and if only then, they sign a CDM as well to go with it. One, what a window for Manchester United. What a window for Manchester United it is if they just keep Sancho and Varane as their only two signings. But what a transfer window it is if they go out and sign a CDM as well. They really, really would have to be a team to be worried about. They really would be a team to be fearful of. Could you imagine that? It's just scary, isn't it? So yeah, those are my thoughts on Manchester United signing Rafael Varane. Fuck's sake.